a poor officer who's struggling to keep it to survive thinking he's going to die let me help him out let me taser him is that really the story you want to be written about you is that in all my benevolence i decided i was going to taser this man who was struggling for his life in that moment and thinking he's going to die four daughters no, I wasn't trying to kill him. I didn't want him to die. Then tell us what happened. Don't leave the story be this crappy story that you're telling us right now that you were just there to help him and taser him. No, I wasn't. I was... Danny. I'm not smart. Think about your mom. No, I'm just not smart. I'm not lying to you guys. I'm not lying to you. You need to anything. think about... I'm not lying How about anything. Danny, I haven't lied about anything. I'm not lying written. about anything, you guys, so far. I have not lied at anything. I have not lied at anything. Danny, yeah, just take a minute. Listen to him, okay? You are in a great position right now to help yourself. Okay. We're your two advocates right now. We can advocate to the prosecutor. Hey, Danny was. Danny made some mistakes. I'm not lying. But right now, neither Agent Armenta or myself. Feel confident in what you're saying. Okay. What? 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 What, what do you want me to tell you that I, I taste them? Yes. Explain. I mean, explain. Am I, am what, I a fucking piece of did? shit? Yes. Why did you taste him? I don't know. I'm a piece of shit. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't know. He's a, he's a human being with children, and he's 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 not a bad guy. He sounds like he's just doing his job, and and he's I'm an asshole. But why? Why Why would you go up there with the taser? It's why would you take that taser that was given to you from your friends and taste it? It wasn't given to me by my friends. It was given to me by a stranger. I swear to God. I swear to God. These, these, this is not the same tasers. I'm telling you. I'm not trying to protect them. I'm not yeah, trying so, to protect somebody. So, so let, me, let me pull the video because I want you to see it of you tasering him. Hundred percent. It was not twice. For sure, I did not taste him twice. For sure. You got big dreams. I need a guiding hand to help you get there. Whittier College is here for that. Officer Fanon was among a phalanx of police at a west entrance here. And D.C. police almost never let us talk to line officers, but they wanted us to hear from this hero of democracy. This is the hallway where Officer Fanon and his comrades refused to hear. Were you in this hallway? I mean, I was not. No. I said, well, we're going to go. You know, suit up. Fanon has been working plain clothes for a decade. He could have spent the riot waiting at his desk. But he and his police and duck hunting partner, Jimmy Albright, self-deployed to the Capitol. He said, uh, he's bent over at the waist, and he's dry heaving, uh, obviously from you know inhaling all the CS gas. One of the first police commanders he encountered was the head of investigations. And I remember thinking you know, myself, fire like, alarm going off in that hallway? this dude looks like George Patton. I wasn't in there for that. Officer I think I got out before that. that yeah, I, don't, I didn't see that. Between the door and the mob screaming, heave ho. Fanon says it was like medieval combat. And it was like the real life 300 minus the six-pack abs, which none of us have. Somehow, the mob grabbed Benone out of the lawn and dragged him into the mob, beating, tasing, smashing him with flagpoles. I remember thinking, like, at the moment that I got outside, like, hold, like, there's a lot of damn people here. Did you think you were going to die out there? Guys were, like, grabbing gear off my vest. And I remember guys chanting, like, kill him with his own gun. Um, I thought about killing people. I'll probably shoot a couple, and then they're going to take the gun away. I don't think they were chanting, kill him with his own gun. Maybe one person said that. They weren't chanting that. thought of his four daughters, 
I have kids, he told the rioters, and a couple of them showed mercy. Uh, thank you. But thank you for being there. What do you mean they helped him? They just said fuck you? This is the video right here. See, they even. Uh, have you seen this? It was only one time. There's no. There's no way it's twice. Um, it's it's edited if it's twice. You strike him on the right side, wh wh on his left side, uh, wh and he recoils and grabs, and you come back in and you do it again. Mm-mm. 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 Mm -mm. Thousand percent. It's right Watch there. the video. I mean, they they did all the work for us. Yeah, I'm telling you, they set us up. It's on purpose. Did somebody somebody stick a taser in your hand? No, I'm saying they set us up as far as like they went over there to film everybody that they recognized, like to to do this on purpose afterwards. No, they didn't stick a taser in us. Okay. You tased the officer. Nobody put Trump didn't put you up to tasing no, the no, officer. No, he didn't. I did. You did it all on your own. Isn't it true, Danny, that you and your friends planned weeks in advance to go to that rally with weapons and gear, that you practiced how you were going to do things? I didn't have any gear. I didn't take any weapons. You took a knife well, I always and have pepper knife. spray, That's and you were given a gas mask. That's always in my car. I, I mean, okay, I've been... You took those things. I have it. Everybody has a, a, I mean, it was a little four inch pocket knife, okay? My, my pepper spray is, is just, is just, in the, it's just something that you have. What about the gas mask? I didn't you buy just, the gas mask. You just carry that with you? The gas masks were taken, and I didn't, I was, there was like some, like four gas masks, like bought, and I was just, one, one, one was, Extra, like here you can have a gas mask but I didn't take it and I didn't wear it I didn't have it but you, you, see, you see more like that shows preparation right that shows I didn't prepare for that that shows planning I didn't plan that I didn't buy that you win like I didn't I, wear it I didn't take it I left it there I didn't put it on I don't have it I it doesn't matter Danny it shows planning and preparation you took those things you don't take things. You don't take things for no reason. Nobody takes things for no reason. And and when we tell DC what we said and what we discussed, and they ask us, was Danny cooperative? None did he tell you that? They're gonna ask me. Well, what did he say about the weapons? What did he say about the gas mask? What did he say? Me. What did he say about the 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 mace and, and none, none the pepper that, spray? None of that stuff was on me when I was at the Capitol. What do I tell them? I'm asking you, my, my colleague was asking you what the preparation was to go there, what you guys were planning. You brought stuff, planning for something. What was it? I mean, we you planning? said Andy called Ed and said, hey, there's a taser here, should I buy it? Ed said, yes, you already told us that. Why is Andy calling Ed saying, should I buy a taser if you, and you guys took the taser to DC if you're not preparing? That's, that's not me. Okay, me. well, tell us about it, though. Tell us about the preparations the group did. The preparations were for BLM and Antifa. We thought that they were going to go... Dis we thought we were going to hit it like a civil war. There was going to be a big battle. This is what I thought. Okay. I thought there was going to be a big battle in DC. I thought that there was going to be battles across the country. I thought that there was going to be fighting, for some reason, in different cities. And I thought that the, the, the main fight the main battle was going to be in dc because trump called everyone there and then i thought that that was going to bring blm and antifa there and it was going to be like a big battle that's what i really thought they do they didn't they didn't that's not what happened so how did you prepare for battle 
Tell us about paintball. Just like jogging. Tell us about paintball. Oh, paintball? Yeah. I mean, I don't even own a gun. Paintball was just like to get people to try and get people to work together and, and follow directions and orders. But paintball was just like, it just wasn't. Who it went was, to paintball? It was just fun. Who went to paintball? Edward. Um, Kaylin went once. Um, no, we've invited everybody. We try to get a lot of people to go. We try to always. I mean, Edward even made some flyers to go like get people going and act like we were trying to get like build like a camaraderie like a team like a um people who we're just trying to get friends we're just trying to make friends and get like find individuals together do you practice formations i know like like Is like stack, like stacking up and entering a building or something or just working together how to work together i think i think we were i think that's I think that was maybe like what we thought was gonna happen, but no. You when you go to paintball, it's just. Have you guys maybe ever been paintballing? It just becomes more of a free for all. Yeah, there's just you can't take orders. You don't know the map, and it's just there's strangers and there's. Was there someone trying to organize it to make it more, you know, tactics based, like a learning? I guess. I guess. I guess. I guess that's what the what what Edward wanted. Mm-hmm. But you know he's not he's not a military person or you know, I mean I mean I, I I mean I tried listening to him and like he'd be like okay I'll cover you you go and I remember one time I just he's like he's like go and then as soon as I put my head up I got shot in my face so I'm like okay it's not good I mean did he see himself as like a military person a I military think he, leader I think he might I think he might mm -hmm. um. I learned I, I never had been paintballing before and I learned that it's if that was real bullets it, it, there's no chance you you pick your head up and you get shot with a paintball like bullets is, is not 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 fun that's not gonna be that's not gonna end well you know running for cover and that's not fun that's not gonna be cool did you guys ever go shooting mm-hmm I, I went shooting once who, who with, went? with Edward um, Edward and and his girlfriend Sam, some girl Sam, he was seeing. Mm -hmm. And uh, what'd you guys shoot? Uh, AR forty-five. Edward did. Yeah. And that was it. <clears throat> did you take your yeah. mom's gun? No, my mom don't have a gun. Who's who's forty-five? Is at the house? There's no forty-five at my house. Yeah, there was. It was there. We saw it. Huh? Yeah. Where? There's a there's a forty five in there. No, you guys are lying. No, in the bedroom. Whose bedroom? My mom's. Mhm. Mm yeah. Yeah. It was there. SWAT found it right away. My mom has a forty five. She said there's no guns in the house. Oh, then there's no gun in the house. No, we're not lying to you. There is a gun in the house. I don't own a gun. I don't have a gun. Did you it's buy a gun at Ammo Brothers? I tried. I tried to buy a Glock. Why? Um, because I had money at the time, like I've always wanted a gun, and I needed the money, so I got my money back. I mean, I've always wanted a gun, but I didn't, I didn't, um, I never purchased one. I, I, I put money down, I went through the background check, and before the background check came, um, I needed the money, and I went back to Ammo Brothers. They kept a hundred dollars. They kept I forget what the percentage it was of the gun. Mm -hmm. It was the the Glock. Was, I think it was like six hundred dollars with some change, like six twenty or something, for a nine. It was like a Glock nineteen or Glock seventeen. And then I um, went back and I needed my money back, and they kept some of it. And I I had to pay bills or something, mm. or I think that's what I went to DC with. Like I don't know. I don't remember. But I do not own a gun. I did. I, yes, I tried to buy a gun. I buy a gun twice. I bought a. I went to um, Turner's. Mm -hmm. I went to Turner's and I tried to buy a Walther, a 22, a little a P22 handgun. And um, the DOJ didn't deny or confirm me, so they gave me my money back. They're like, they gave me all my money back. They said you gotta go contact the DOJ. I never did. And uh, I went to go. I was like, okay, I'll try it again. And then before 
I, so what I was gonna do was I was like, because the DOJ didn't confirm or deny me. I needed to get a hold of them. I didn't. I think some time went by. I was like, okay, let me go try to guy buy a different gun. Maybe I would. I, maybe it wasn't a good idea to get the twenty two. Let me get a nine. And then I, uh, bef I knew that DOJ was either gonna come. Not. I think I thought it was gonna be the same thing. I'm like, I can't wait that thirty days or whatever. I just, you know, I'm, I need the I need the money for for bills or something. So I took the money back and I never got a gun. Mm -hmm. And as far as my mom no, uh, goes, she doesn't own a gun either. Okay. What else? Who who else in the group bought supplies other than Andy and Ed? Supplies like food or so. Let's go no like weapons. so. There was no other weapons. So anybody buy pepper spray, wasp spray, gas masks, knives, tasers. I, I already had the knife. I didn't buy a knife. Okay. So. Who who else bought stuff though? I don't. Know. I, I mean, think you're in the van driving for. I think, 30, 30, 30, I think, I think miles. everybody pitched in. Everybody pitched in for gas and for food. And um, as far as the wasp spray goes, I think Marcy brought that okay. from home. And the taser, Andy bought. I remember him calling me the day before or something, the night before, like we we're getting stuff to go. And he called me and. I think he asked me if I wanted it or something, and then I said, no, I don't want it, or I don't have money or something. I don't remember. I just said no, and then I think Edward wanted it. I don't know if he was with me or... I don't know, but somehow he said that he did, and then Andy bought it. I think it was $50, and it was a flashlight, taser, and then we were playing with it in the van, and, and then it stayed in the van. But as far as weapons, like, um, why, why did it stay in the van if, if you guys well, bought it? Why? Okay, well, first first of all, we, we were going to go see Trump speak. We're not taking weapons. We're not taking, we, we, we went, we went on, I think it was a Saturday. He was, he was going to speak in DC, do his speech. And we, we woke up and, and went, it was early. I think but you was, guys were all also expecting a civil war too. You weren't just there to see him speak. You were. You said a civil war across the, night, the country. The night, the night before we got there, um, we went out in the streets to because of the civil war. We thought we were like, okay, let's go see what's going on out here. Let's go see if we could find like BLM, if there's rioting. Like we wanted to go see. So nothing was going on. There was no BLM. There's no Antifa. There was there was really nothing going on. The the whole city was there's cops everywhere. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I think that was the first night, which is a Friday, maybe. What, what day was the speech? And then you, you had your taser then? No. No, I didn't have a taser. So where was it? No, I, I got a taser that day from the tunnel. No, I'm saying the one you guys bought. The one you guys bought before. The flashlight one? Mm-hmm. Where was it? Yeah. It was in the box that came in. So my question is, why was it in the box? If you guys bought a taser... Preparing for a civil war. Well, he didn't. He didn't buy it for me. He bought it for Edward, and maybe Edward, either, it was, I don't know. Did Edward take it with him? No, I think I think he didn't like it, or he bought it without. He bought it. Andy was at the store and said, "I had there's a, there's one of these things here for sale. Should I get it?" And then mm -hmm. Edward has money. He has extra money. You know, it's like, yeah, I'll get it. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. You know. And then what about like? Did you use your card ever when you were in D.C.? Your debit card? I don't remember. Mm, would you be surprised to find out you didn't? I probably didn't. So what was what was the cash withdrawal for before you go to D.C.? Gas, probably. So you, you withdrew $760 in cash for gas? I never had $760 on my account. You withdrew it in cash from your from your from an ATM. You got cash. This was on uh, the fourth, right before you guys started going. I think you're confusing me with Edward. No, I'm not. I didn't have seven hundred dollars. You 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 took out seven. The day the day no no for sure you guys you're confusing me with Edward I think because the day.